Okay, our 1943 receiver, transmitter, signal generator, signal core unit is all cleaned up and tested okay. For those that might have one, maybe not, I don't know. Seems like a very rare item. Oh, let's see, what do we got here? So here we are. I did this before, but oh well. Tag on it, tuning. Okay, that's all done. That'll be uh, in operation. And the, I guess you call it the uh, Collins R390 area. And this one here is the R390, URR. That's all tested, done, cleaned. Two new Cornwall doublers as they're called, which are capacitors with prongs on them, okay. All tubes test A-OK, -okay. sensitivity levels A-OK. -okay. Covers will be on. And let's turn this fellow around, right? I turn her out. Hello. There we are. As I mentioned before, these were used on the dual line and are classified as one of the best military receivers around. Now that's all done. So I'm gonna have triple diversity reception with this stuff. And this is actually the power supply. The B plus comes in there, OD3 tubes, main transformer, Supplying uh, filament current, 12AX7 series and 6L series. Believe it or not, that's a crystal oven. It's a very well insulated can with crystals in it that are actually regulated by heat. A very awesome piece of gear. This is what just the uh, underside of it. And the top side of it, uh, we'll take a look. It's not too much of trouble moving it with one hand. Let's make it fall over. Here we go. Mechanical tuning. That's the top section. Transformer area. Vacuum tubes. 80 pounds of radio. Woohoo. However, that'll be, uh, I'll go over this way here and show you something else. Let's see, a 300 pound radio, which I restored after I had the COVID off, you know. There we are, 300 pounds. Woohoo. Often referred to. ANFRR 59 naval radio used in the Navy in the 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe even currently, and submarines. This is uh, VLF reception and HF reception. Again, mechanical tuning made by the National Radio Company. Various tags on it. Well, I got this from Tom Brent, friend of Gary Prock of HMCS. Haida Museum ship years ago. Various tags. Here's another 300 pounder on top. This is a transceiver. And it's all tunable, it's even down the cycles per second. Got the receiver, got the RF unit and the power amplifier RF system. Till we take a look. Take a lower sideband, standby, off, frequency shift keying. Okay, 
that's for a t radio teletape AM continuous wave upper sideband and it's a sideband all these variations here you often hear people with computer lingo say oh yes of course my USB port well it's upper sideband and we have here a little fellow goes up to about 20 mega cycles it's a transceiver 100 watts output and then of course we got our famous <laughs> secret squirrel radio piece used in the gigahertz off a warship that's what the countermeasure systems kind of look like there's different variations of this design of this type of device it's got that black paneling and that unique looking shaped casing with uh, shock mounts. Now these have shock mounts as well. Or berry mounts as well as this fellow down here. So that's a little story on radios. Radio world. Okay. We're happening unit. So I'll put those in position with the other R390s. Uh, triple diversity reception. Oh, yeah, rather cool. And this I'll use for monitoring as well.